Hello, my sweet friends. This is Tracy. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I am doing a collaboration with my sweet friend Kat from According to Cat. Now, if you are not familiar with Kat's channel, she does lots of home decor, thrift store, Dollar Tree DIYs. She is just amazing. I love her spunk and she just comes up with the most creative DIYs. And if you are coming over from Kat's channel, welcome. I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of country charm, just like today's DIYs under $10. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it, but I did. So let me show you what I did. To create these winter DIYs under $10. Project number one are these winter trees. So I used two of the Dollar Tree little styrofoam cones. This is what I wrapped around the cones. This chunky yarn from Walmart. And this is not a true white. It just kind of is a little off white. And I didn't use that much. There's a lot on this roll. So what I did is I just started at the bottom, hot glued it, and just wrapped it around. I found that it was a little bit easier if I turn the cone. And that way, just kind of let the yarn kind of fall and wrap around. And just hot gluing it here and there until I got to the top. Once I got to a, a certain point, it had like a little knot in it. And I was like, okay, that's, that's gonna put a kink in my little plan. So I ended up cutting it and then cutting it off. And then I discovered that it looked like a little pom-pom. So I used it to my advantage. <laughs> So I wasn't sure what I was going to use for the top. I didn't think that far, but that little part that I cut off fits perfectly in there. So I really like that. Now this bigger tree, I picked this up at the Goodwill. It was 79 cents. And uh, so I just used this for my larger tree, wrapping the yarn around it just like I did the smaller two. <laughs> For the larger tree, since it was um, a little more space, I just took my yarn and I wrapped it in a knot two times. So I'm showing you here. I did one and then I wrapped it again and then kind of pulled that a little tight. And then I just cut it with my scissors and uh, it fit perfectly on top of that tree. If you wanted to use all Dollar Tree supplies uh, for these little trees, here's an idea. These little um, terry cloth little shams are in the automotive section. Now I would just wrap them around the tree. I would not suggest cutting them apart. Uh, I have done that in the past and they kind of unravel a little bit and I had a big old mess. Anyway, so just sharing that little tip. To add a bit of pizzazz, I pulled out my twinkle flakes. Now I have had these twinkle flakes for many years and uh, it only takes a little bit. So I'm sure I got it like at, you know, Hobby Lobby or something. Anyway, I just took my spray adhesive and I sprayed them a little bit and then I just sprinkled on some little twinkle flakes. Okay, let's break down the total cost of my project here. I have three styrofoam cones at $3. I have some Chanel yarn. I'm just going to say a dollar. And the star lights uh, is $1. So my trees cost me $5. Next project is my Snowman Wooden Spoons Little Family. 
I'm calling them wooden spoons, but they're actually plastic spoons. Uh, you can get them in a four pack over at the Dollar Tree. Now you'll see in uh, the video here, um, I had done two sets, but I'm only using one. Um, I'm only using three in, you know, just this little project, but they actually come four spoons. So I'm, I'm doing two little sets here. Um, anyway, but now I have my little sanding block and I'm just sanding the part where I'm going to paint on because I need to give it a little texture because these spoons are plastic. They're not porous and uh, the paint doesn't adhere to them very well. So I'm just using um, white Waverly chalk paint and I am just giving it just one coat of paint and then I will make some little cute faces. I like to give um, some little cheeks and using some coral colored paint and a stencil brush. I'm just tapping off a little bit of the paint on a paper towel and then I just stipple on the cheeks and I prefer to go up and down but you know sometimes you see cheeks in a circle um, but I just like more of the up and down look and then now I'm just using this color of orange for his uh, or for their little noses and then I just have a number two little liner brush here and I just um, kind of zigzag on a nose I kind of start at the bottom and then I just kind of go back and forth just kind of getting a little smaller as I go up to give it a little carrot nose Now I'm going to add some little eyes and I just take my fine Sharpie marker and just draw two circles, filling the, them in uh, with the black marker. And then I'll go back over it with my black paint and my small uh, liner brush and just go over it just to give it, a, the marker is just, um, it's a little light. And so I like to use the black paint. I love my little projects to have cute little faces and that includes some little eyelashes. So I just use my ultra fine Sharpie marker and just give them some little eyelashes. I usually do like three little eyelashes and then I'm also just outlining the nose and just giving it a smile. Then I will uh, add some little white to their eyes. And I just have a very loved brush that I have had many years. And I just like a lot of the bristles have fallen out and it's just very thin. And I just kind of go along the eyes and just get, 
just position the little, I make like a little comma and um, depending on where I put the comma in their eye will depend on which way it looks like they are looking. I'm using one of these glass salt and pepper shakers uh, from the Dollar Tree. I just took off the lid and I'm going to uh, paint it in a crackling technique. And how I do that is I need to put an undercoat on there and I'm gonna put that in black. This is the crackle medium. I prefer to buy the actual crackle medium, but some friends have shared that they have got the crackle technique using Mod Podge as well as Elmer's uh, school glue. I have not tried that um, because I just like to use the crackle medium. I will have a link in the description box below if you would like to get the details of that. And so then it only takes um, about 15-20 minutes for the crackle medium to completely dry. Then I go back over it with a layer of the plaster colored uh, chalk paint. Then once my little jar is ready to go, I have uh, just some of that little curly Chanel yarn that I use on the winter trees. And I just cut a uh, strip of that and then I'm gonna tie it on this little, the mouth of the little um, salt or pepper shaker. I'm um, kind of look going for a scarf technique and uh, I like the way that I just kind of like have it positioned. I'm going to fill my little uh, jar uh, about three quarters of the way with some Epsom salt. And I have this little funnel I've had um, in my stash uh, in my craft room from when I was doing uh, card crafts and scrapbooking and I was using glitter a lot. Anyway, so I thought that it would come in handy to um, put some of this Epsom salt in my little jar. I just added a few sprigs of greenery uh, to my little jar. I had this greenery on hand. I just cut it off of the stem. And uh, so the total cost for it, this little snowman family is uh, $1 for the wooden slash plastic spoons. Um, 50 cents for the salt or paper shaker. And so really for less than $2, I made this little snow family. Okay, moving on to project three, I'm making this little snowman shelf sitter using one of my leftover pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Now this was from um, the fall season. And of course they have those pesty little stickers on there. And um, just using my little heat tool and just peeling off the sticker. I'm also using one of uh, the socks from the Dollar Tree. Um, I had bought those um, in the fall season as well and uh, just pulled it out so I could use it for his little hat. So I want to use the crackle paint technique on this little snowman shelf sitter as well. So I'm just painting um, it black. I let that dry. Then I put a layer of the crackle medium on there and let that completely dry about 15, 20 minutes. Then I go back over it with some plaster chalk paint and it literally cracks before your eyes and so um, one thing that I did notice like where that sticker was on the back of the little wooden pumpkin um, I guess where the little adhesive is the crackle and the paint did not stick very well to that so you will see that as I'm working with my little snowman. Thank you. 
I'm going to give my little snowman a shelf sitter some cheeks and just using some coral colored paint as well as a stencil brush. I'm just stippling that on. Um, just on his little face. Then I will get my orange paint and do the same process as I did with the spoons. I am just getting a liner brush and I will just squiggle on a little nose. I like to use this milk chocolate brown paint and uh, I like to shade my projects so I'm just using a flat paintbrush and dip half of my brush in water the other half in paint and then I blend it on a paper towel then I go around my projects to give it um, just a some shading and uh, just give it some definition. I'll just continue to bring this little snowman shelf sitter to life by adding some doodles around the outside of the little nose and just the outer part of the wood part. And then I'll also give him a little uh, smile. And this is just something that I like to do for my projects. Um, it just really depends on what your little personal preference is, but I think that it just really gives it all. It doesn't have to be perfect to be very cute. Anyway, before I do the eyes, I'm going to put his the sock on there so that I don't get my eyes too high so that the brim of my sock, which is his hat, would be covering them up. Once I figure out, um, and my little hat is where I want it, I just draw on some little eyes. And I do the same thing. I start with marker, and then I go back and fill them in with black paint. Um, I will add some eyelashes and some um, white little commas to the eyes and just really bring him to life.
So the total cost for the little snowman shelf sitter is I have $1 for the wooden pumpkin, uh, 50 cents for the sock, which is his hat. And uh, so the total for this little project cost me um, roughly $2. Um, so I think I did pretty good. I just love the way that these little projects turned out. It really made me think outside the box. Even though I'm very familiar with doing these projects, I had to think to keep my cost under $10 anyway. So all in all, I say that my projects cost about $10. Uh, even though I added up about nine, I'm going to say with all the extra little stuff, probably around $10. Thank you so much for watching and a big, big thank you to Kat for inviting me to do this collab with you. Um, as I said, I uh, was had to think outside of the box and I really enjoyed it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will have a playlist uh, linked here for my other country Christmas craft ideas for 2019. Anyway, y'all all have a great day and we will talk to you very soon. Merry Christmas and God bless.